Good afternoon, everybody. Fusion Phil here with JITCAD Cam. This week for Workflow Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and cover the Fusion 360 Insider Program. That being said, I am going to cover what it is, why or why not you might want to join, and how you can join. But before I kick that off, I do want to announce I'm doing a cross country tour real quick. We are headed down to Texas over the next couple of weeks. And if you're anywhere along the way, feel free to reach out and let me know where you're at so that I can stop in and say hi and see what it is that you guys do. So let's do this. So before we get too deep in this, I want to warn everybody, I'm not actually going to be doing ToolPass in this video, but I am going to show you neat things about ToolPass in this video. So if you're hoping to see programming tips and tricks, you're not really going to see that in this video. Now, for a lot of you that have been watching my content or a lot of you that have been in Fusion for a while now, you guys have probably wondered where is it that your preview features have gone inside of Fusion 360. Now, I do have to blur this out because I can't show you what's in this folder due to NDAs at Autodesk, but I can tell you preview features and the future of what the product could contain. Now, I emphasize could contain to a lot of you because nothing in here is guaranteed to make it to the actual stable version of Fusion, so to say. And I know that stable word sounds very scary. It's nothing to concern yourself with, but... There is two versions of Fusion now kind of floating around where you could be on the Insider program helping shape the direction of the product, right? Now, this gives you access to sometimes new tool paths, different features in different areas from the design workspace over to the drawing workspace, even the cam workspace and everything inside of it. So that being said, you guys do have the ability to access these preview features still. And how you can do so is you can actually sign up for the Insider Program. Now, why would you want to sign up for the Insider Program? The great thing about this is, is with the Insider Program, you not only get early access to anything and everything, but you actually get the ability to work on the forums, communicate directly with the development teams, and give your opinion on how you think things should work or how should they interact inside the software. Now, you guys saw I just went up to the top. I clicked question mark, went to what's new, and then I clicked join the Fusion 360 Insider Program. This is how you're going to sign up for the Insider Program. It's a very easy and straightforward process. Again, you're just going to click join now and jump right inside of Fusion. Now, I do like this screen because, again, as we kind of talked about a stable version, and I should have used a better term like they have here, the general public version is the version that everybody gets. Now, the insider version is the version that is going to give you back those preview features and allow you to get that look inside onto what they're working on. Again, not guaranteed to make it into the full-blown version of Fusion. However, you do also get to communicate. And like I said, as you get to get early access to things, video content that's based on these new features, what the direction looks like, and some really neat things that's going to come down the line of Fusion. But now that you've seen that you can join that in, a few things that I do like to point out for some of you is why wouldn't you want to join the Insider Program? And to say the least, if you're new to Fusion 360, there's really no reason for you to join Insider. And the reason I'm going to say this is because you're starting to cloud the work environment and you're adding too many features and too many things for an end user to work with, right? Now, let's say, for example, I'm a job shop. We do simple automation stuff. Is there going to be anything inside the Insider Program for me? Yes, there's always the chance that something's going to be in there. However, if I started to take on work based on the Insider program and all of a sudden that feature isn't going to get developed for 12 months, maybe it's never going to actually be released because there's no interest. That would be a big concern of why I would stay away from the Insider program. Again, I can't stress enough that not everything is guaranteed to make it out to the general public version. Now, again, my guys on the floor, they don't need additional tool pass. Their, their input is very valuable, and you may have a Friday afternoon where you play around with it, and it works great, or you get to go to the Friday sync-ups with Al over at Autodesk, which is a great time as well. But again, is a lot of people aren't necessarily going to need the Insider program because a lot of the things that are coming through there are very heavy and advanced features that will either make it or not make it out, right? Let's talk about some of the features that have made it out to give you guys some really good examples. So if I go back to my Fusion 360, you guys saw this originally, I had this geodesic toolpath pulled up. 
Now, Geodesic, I can't declare how long it was Insider, but it was Insider for some time. Now, this allowed everybody to help shape and contribute to how this toolpath works, see how it's going to interact, what is the value of this toolpath overall, and even do things like highlight why it's such an important necessary thing in Fusion to get a toolpath strategy like this. Another really good one is if you guys are going to read through that What's New article is just recently, and I believe on Friday I might do an advanced Swerf video. That being said, you guys want to like, follow, and subscribe to my content so that you get the latest updates to all of my videos. But Advanced Swerf is another toolpath just like Geodesic. Even Steep and Shallow way back in the day was a preview feature inside of that specific area of Fusion that had to be toggled on and toggled off. Now that Advanced Swerf is here, I am ecstatic about it because I have some very interesting parts that I think you guys will love, and it will really show you the power of how this thing works at the end of the day. Now, again, these features, as they're making their way out to the general public version of Fusion, like I said before, they do need help, and this is why I'm making this video, is because Autodesk is very open to getting as much feedback as they can to release the best product moving forward so that we don't have the dilemma of something being redesigned multiple years later or changes needing to be made that affect anybody and everybody. Now, as always, I am gonna cut this video a little short here. It's not what you know, it's who you know. If you guys have any questions about Fusion, need any post-processor changes, or even looking for training, whether it be custom or cookie cutter, we service all of it around Fusion 360. That being said, it's not what you guys know, it's who you know. You know me over at Cad Cam, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.